Welcome to this beginner bodyweight strength workout. So as the title suggests, we're looking to build strength, but for people that are just starting out on their bodyweight workout journey. So my name is Garen. Thanks for joining me at a moment to move. And when we're ready, we're gonna meet in a hands and knees position to start strengthening them wrists and get your body nice and strong. I'm going to turn to face you. So I'm going to utilize something here that's called reverse wrist push-ups. So we start with our knuckles and our fists down onto the ground, and then we're going to roll to the outer hands. We're going to try to keep our arms straight, but if that's not possible, it's perfectly fine. And then open up your hands, drop your nose to the floor, push back up, close the hands and roll back over. So we're just going to go for 10 of these to get the strength in the backs of the wrists. And they're also going to open up at the same time. So there's three, four, Close the hand, roll over. Five. Six. I like this as it is an exercise and a stretching mechanism. So it's a good way to start, especially when you're not used to being on your hands too much. So eight. Back of the hands, nose to the ground, push back up. Nine. And 10. So now we're gonna meet, stay in that tabletop position and you can stay on your knees and you just drop your chest through. So you wanna keep the arms straight and pull the shoulder blades onto the back and then push back up. And dome in your upper back, gentle tuck of the tailbone. So you're gonna drop that chest through, arms straight, push back up. Eyes to the elbow should be spinning forward and these are just called scapular push-ups. So we're just getting into the back, also strengthening that arm and that shoulder. So that's five six if you're finding this a little bit too easy you can come up onto your toes it's the same movement seven eight nine and ten you know lower the knees back down or if you're on your knees just rock back and just shake out the hands a little bit so there's a little bit of pressure on the wrist joints very early but a lot of my floor space exercise in here is very wrist orientated so we want to make sure that the wrists are nice and healthy. So we're going to push our hips up and we're going to meet in a forward fold at the back of the mat. And you can start bending one knee and the other and just walking the feet out just a little bit just to get some length in the back of the hamstrings. And then from there, we're just slowly going to place one hand down and then the other, and we're just gonna walk the hands out into a downward facing dog. And then from that downward facing dog, we're gonna roll the spine forward. Now you can lower your knees down if that's where you feel you need to be, or if you wanna stay in your high plank, you wanna spin the eyes of the elbows forward, a gentle dome in the upper back, tailbone tucked under, navel brought into the spine, and you're strengthening your legs by squeezing and contracting them together. And we're gonna take a mountain climber. So you're gonna bring your knee right knee to right tricep and step it back left knee left tricep step it back and if you are doing this on your knees it's the same thing so we still want to be pushing into the ground and we're just going to bring that knees up into the tricep and then place the knees back down so pick your option and we've gone for three nice and slow and controlled we are trying to make a controlled movement pattern five Five. Bring the shoulder blades down the back so you don't want them up by your ears. Make sure that core is engaged. Six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and ten. And then from there, we're going to slowly shift forward again. If you're on your knees, same thing, shift forward, and we're just gonna slowly lower down onto the count of five, four, all the way to your belly, three, two, one. And from there, you're gonna bring your arms out so they're about shoulder length away, and you're gonna have them as a T-junction. So your fingertips are still facing forward, you've got to bend in the elbows. Now from there, you wanna squeeze the glutes, lift the feet up, and then you wanna pull the shoulder blades onto your back, lift your chest up. And now we're strengthening the whole back line of the body. There's one, two, 
I really like this as a body weight back exercise because we are still working into that scapula. We're working the back side of the core by squeezing the feet together and the thighs tucked into the midline. Six, seven, eight, two more. Nine, ten. Lower the chest down. You may want to shake out the hips a little bit. And then from there, we're going to keep utilizing that count of ten today. So at the moment, we want to bring our hands underneath our shoulders. You're going to come onto your toes. Again, if you want to put your knees down, you can do so. And we're just going to push up into that low plank position. So if you're on your knees, it's going to look a little bit like this. You still want to have that navel brought to the spine. Glutes tucked under, shoulders pulled down the back, and lower back down. If you want to come up onto the toes, you bring the knees off the ground and you come up halfway and you lower back down. There's one, two, three, four. Gentle hold at the top, five. Utilize which one is best for you, six. Seven, eight, nine. We're really working into those triceps. And 10, and then from there, we lower back down. Come onto the tops of the feet. And we're just gonna push the hips up. Push into the hands, bring the shoulder blades up and coming into your upward facing dog. So again, you wanna squeeze the glutes, pull the shoulder blades down the back. Eyes of the elbows spin forward. Glutes are engaged, and we're just in an upward facing dog here. And then from there, we're gonna tuck the chin to the chest and slowly roll back in a spinal wave, tipping over the toes and coming into your downward facing dog. And then from there, we're gonna walk the feet forward, still pushing into the ground. And from here, we're gonna come up with a halfway lift, lengthening through the spine forward fold into the chest, bend into the knees, bring the chest up into your chair pose, and then stand up nice and straight, squeezing the glutes. And from here, we're gonna take some lunging step backs. So you're gonna bring that right knee into your chest, bend into that left knee, drop the foot down, and come back up, knee into the chest. So you're just gonna lower the toes down. So just taking these step backs, there's two, three, squeeze the glutes at the top, four, five, knee up as high as you can into that chest, six, the knee just briskly touch the ground, seven, eight, nine, eight, ten, place the right foot down, left foot into the chest, onto the toes, and then into the chest. There's one, two, three, keep your balance, four, knee just touching the ground, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Place the foot back down, and we're just going to lower all the way down into that squat. Place the hands behind you, and gently put your bum onto the ground. Scoot hips forward, roll onto your upper lower back, and then you want to tuck that lower back under. Make sure it is touching the ground. Bring your feet so you can sort of touch your heels. Your chest should be up, pointing towards the ceiling, and we're going to do some heel taps. So we're going to, with our chest up and elevated, navel brought to the spine, we're gonna bring our right hand to the outer edge of the right foot, left hand to the outer edge of the left foot. And I'm gonna keep that chest up. It's two, three, four. And we're just swifting from side to side, engaging that core one more time. Six, seven, eight nine and ten and we'll go for a few more of these and really fire up that core 12 13 14 
15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. You can bring your knees into your chest briefly and just wriggle from side to side. And then you want to place your heels back down and we're just going to take some bridge raises. So you're just going to push into the heels, pull the heels towards your bum and then lift your bum up to the sky and then gently lower back down. And again, now working into those hamstrings. There's two, three, and the back line of your body. Four, we'll only go for five of these, but we're gonna hold the last one, that five. Now keep the engagement, squeezing the glutes together, knees be pushing in towards each other, really pushing to the ground with the heels. That's five, four, see if you can go a little bit higher, three, two, and one. Lower back down, bring the knees into the chest, and we're just gonna roll back up and roll through and come back into our downward day facing dog. And then from here, we're just gonna go through it in a more flow sort of pattern. So we're gonna roll forward through the spine, and we wanna bring our right knee, right tricep, step back, left knee, left tricep, step back, lower down. You take the option that's available for you, arms out wide, and we just go for one of those. Skydive cactuses, place the elbows back down, hands onto the shoulders, push up halfway, lower back down to the chest, tuck over the toes, and push yourself up into your upward facing dog. And roll over the toes, coming into your downward facing dog, walk the feet forward, bring that right knee into the chest, and then step the toes back just touching the ground, back up into the chest, step down, left knee into the chest, step back, left knee down, bring it up into the chest, step down, lower down onto your bums, shift forward, and we'll take three of these heel taps, two, three, straight into a back bridge, squeeze the glutes, and lower back down. So I just wanted to show you something there as there's more of what we sort of do more on the channel, just to make it a little bit more flowy, utilizing one movement with one breath. I'll explain that more later. Let's bring that right knee into the chest and we're just gonna bring it across our body. Extend the right arm away from you and that your right leg is over to the left hand side of your body. And then you can either gaze over your right shoulder and just get a gentle hold of your left hand and we're just stretching through the right side of the body, opening up that right hip a little bit. And it's just a gentle twist. Come back to neutral, right knee into the chest, switch legs, left knee comes into the chest, right leg extends away shift onto that right hip, bring that left knee across the body. Now I have a block on this side, and I should have suggested it on the first side, but if your knee doesn't touch the ground, you wanna feel a little more comfortable, you can place something under that left knee. I'm just gonna take that twist once again. Gaze over the left shoulder this time. center both knees into the chest and you can gently rock forward and back and come up to a seated position and then from your seated position I've taken a cross leg one you can just take a forward fold and just stretch into the legs and the upper back a little bit more from your forward fold you can push yourself back up and come into a seated position and there it was, a nice beginner body weight strength workout. So I hope you enjoyed it. As I said, at the end there, I wanted to add in just a little bit of what we do more on the channel, which is just a little bit more flow. So we try to sync the breath to movement, move a little bit more fluid. And I want to try to develop that into these beginner series is a little bit more. So rather than just being strength, 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 it's working it into a nice flow and making it all encompassing and try to utilize your breath with your movements. 
but we have seven of these on the channel already i think this is number eight and um, yeah i hope you've enjoyed it so if you have let me know how it was for you try some of the other workouts on the channel and let me know how they go too and i'd just like to say thank you here for joining me at a moment to move feel free to hit that like and subscribe button your support is always greatly appreciated so thanks for joining me once again and i'm sure i'll catch you in the next one